apocalypse, timing is approximate. What? I've been rocking out kinda yeah. like I be a conglomerate. Feeling super faded like I'm sipping gin and tonic, bitch. I've been out this world, I'm high as fuck, just like a rocket shit. I could be lit in the boat, but I don't need Hey guys, welcome yeah. back to the 5W's interview show. My name is Reese Setter, and today we are joined by another very special guest, a guy that I've known for quite a while in kind of like my musical industry career. Uh, he's one of the first kind of homies that I kind of met and made in this industry. Uh, we got Elijah Burns joining us today. How are you doing, Elijah? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Reese? I'm I'm doing pretty fly. I I can't uh, I can't complain. It's always a joy to sit down with a new artist and chat chat it up. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here, and I'm excited to get into these questions. For sure, for sure. So I gave just gave you guys a little bit of context of who Elijah is. Uh, we met about just over a year ago, I guess. Uh, at the yeah, first, right before the quarantine. Time, yeah, the first time I shot Melodic Mondays, which is kind of like a collective rap show that happens in a at fortune sound club where like a bunch of artists like 15 plus artists just show up and just do a set for like a bunch like few, like four or five hours it takes a long time so i shot the first one of those i met elijah there then i i shot a few more of those and elijah was instantly kind of like super friendly and uh, like approachable to me and like he instantly introduced me to a bunch of other people and kind of got me a good solid foundation in kind of this creative community around here which i'm super appreciative and actually he introduced me to white russian sk who was just on the last episode and we're just wrapping up a video for it so uh this guy kind of really helped kickstart off a lot of that and uh he's just kind of like a really great dude he's uh he's a he's a really different rapper as far as the local scene is considered uh he's not like a lot of these uh other guys he's He's incredibly lyrical. He's got somewhat of an old school style. He's very uh, satirical and uh, likes to have a lot of fun with his music. So uh, he's definitely wears his heart on his sleeve. He's very genuine in his music, and it, uh, it's it's always a great time to listen to. I highly recommend listening to any of his work uh, if you haven't already. But if not, we'll just jump into our first question: of the five W's, which is our who. And uh, since I know you're a very lyrical guy, uh, who would you, if you could go for bar for bar with anyone, who would you go bar for bar with? So, like, in a track, like, freestyling, like, what? Just, like, if I had, like, dream feature type shit? Uh, yeah, let's go dream feature. That that sounds sick. Like, who would you, like... If All right, cool. I would say probably, like, Kendrick or Joey Badass. That would be pretty crazy. Or Juice World, but rest in peace to the GOAT, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. too bad. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I don't think Joey Badass gets as much credit uh, as, like, he deserves. Like, I think a lot of people, like, would expect, like, a Kendrick pick or something, but a Joey Badass pick, that's, that's like, a pretty niche one that I'm, like, I'm really happy to, like, hear other people kind of pull out. Well, I mean, he doesn't get the recognition he deserves, like you said. He's, he's super lyrically talented, and I don't know, he inspired me a lot on my come up in hip-hop and just rapping and freestyling in general, so, mm -hmm. yeah. 100%, 100%. Yeah, he's got, like... Cause you do you do a lot of freestyling as well as opposed to just like just like written rapping. You do a lot of kind of like oh yeah, but it's how I like stay on top of my game. It's how I develop my writing so fast. It's the way that I evolve because I'm constantly using my mind and my energy and mm -hmm. energy is power. So the more that you use your energy towards a goal that you want, it'll be easier to achieve. Hundred percent. Yeah, because you've been doing you did just you did one of those ciphers recently for. Uh, I don't know what bug, yeah. for, but I, I've, I see them come out and I'm like, there's just a bunch of guys doing them. What, what are they all about? Okay, so it's uh, Team Travel Bug and uh, Shinigami Films. They're just hosting ciphers for the artists in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to both of them because they're really helping the community come together as one and showcasing the talent that we really do have in the city. And it's super awesome to see that like we're building a community. You know what I mean? Because... The more that we work together towards a common goal, the easier it's going to be for us all to be successful. So it's it's pretty dope what they're doing because they're just uh, they're helping us out a bunch. So yeah, it's tight. And the stuff always looks really good. And uh, just a quick side note, uh, I think it's Michael from Shinigami was just on the on the show a few episodes back. So if you guys want to hear more about the guy that makes those cipher videos, uh, he's got an episode if you want to check that out. But we're just going to fly into our second question of the five W's, which is our what. And uh, this has taken us pretty recent to an event that just happened a few weeks ago. 
uh, and I was kind of really not, I don't want to say surprised, it's like, like I was surprised that it happened, but I, I definitely like wasn't what I was expecting. I was like, what was it like winning the annual championship for local files? It's pretty crazy, bro. I'm a uh, underground champ of British Columbia now, so it's a uh, it's a pretty cool feeling. But uh, hard work pays off. Hard work pays off, and uh, I'm just not gonna take the foot off the gas. I got a lot of shit coming. I got a like a 17 song project gonna be dropping in around May. I've got a song dropping through Nimbus all across Canada in March. I, so like, man, like I just see the stars aligning, the universe working with me, and it's. It's super crazy, man, and it's it's all comes down to like hard work and positive energy. So, like, if anybody watching this wants to do something with their life, just remember all it takes is a little bit of faith and a little bit of hard work. Mm -hmm. And if you could kind of just quickly for a minute, just kind of take us through the process of like what you did to get the W. Bro, I just posted it on my story, and like throughout the weeks that I was competing, I gained like 150 followers. Just random people finding my music and they hopping on the wave and they're like yo you're crazy like they're voting for me on the stories and stuff yeah. i don't know man like I, all i can say is i like, thank god man that the right people saw me and put me in the position now to be able to have the recognition that i guess i deserve and the respect that i've always wanted in the city so 100 percent, because they're kind of like the local authority for dope shit and kind of like the underground music genre which is kind of like our space so it's kind of like it's like it's like a I'm like it's it's kind of like a big deal. It's like everyone knows about it. Yeah, it's pretty it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy, crazy, man. Yeah, definitely gotten a lot more love ever since that happened. That's for sure. That's tight. It's it's nice to see you kind of like see people that I like I I met like back in the account. I don't want to say the beginning because it was only like a year ago. But like as soon as I met them, I was like 100. percent I believe in these guys, and it's nice to see them like a year later, fully like re like like. Like, I wasn't wrong to, like, believe in people. It's like, you definitely got it. Like, I knew it, like, back then, and it's like, you just proved it. No, bro. Energy don't lie, man. Energy don't lie. 100%. Awesome. We're just going to fly into straight into our third question of the five W's, which is where. And uh, I've heard a bunch of stuff from you. You've teased a bunch of stuff. I feel like things have somewhat been released and been unreleased. So I just want to know, where are you hiding all these unreleased tracks, man? Bro, it's all, it, it's, it's all in a vault, man. Like I said, I've got a, a project coming soon in May. It's gonna, it's my best work yet, like by far. And I'm super excited to drop it, but gotta keep them waiting, man. You gotta build a little bit of hype. I got some videos coming soon that are from the project. So yeah. people will be able to see a little bit of what I've been working on. And like I said, I've got a single from the project dropping in March through Nimbus. Oh. which is going to be super rad. The song is called Leather Jacket, and it's like a mix of like old school vibes with like new wave sound, and it's melodic and lyrical. So it's uh, it's very experimental, but I think people are going to like it. Awesome. Yeah, so that actually just uh, take care of my next question because I was literally just going to ask, what when will you be releasing the project you're working on with Nimbus and Biz Class? So that was like, uh, we got it, two in one. Bro. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> yeah, because you sent me leather jacket uh, probably about a month ago now, and I was kind of like blown away. I was like, "Damn, this this is such a vibe. This is like, it's like so good." And like I've like that, and then like go kart because you've is did you put go kart out or did you just release kind of like uh, it's, on, it's on Graffiti's album, so it's oh. um, G R Y P H double -I, I T double -I, I. That's how you spell his name if you're curious on how to find it it's just go-kart uh on all streaming platforms it's on his album called get the crown oh that makes so much more sense because i was like i was like i could have sworn he put it out because like i saw the teasers i saw people sharing it online and then when i was going to prepare for this interview i was like oh i want to listen to all my favorite elijah burns tracks i was like where's go-kart i can't find it but i know it's supposed to be here somewhere yeah so um all you gotta do is search Eli Burn go kart and you'll find it. That's tight. That's tight. So it's on Spotify then. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Tight. I'm gonna go look that up or, r as soon as we're done this and throw that in a playlist. You know what graffiti looks like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've met okay. graffiti before. So the album artwork is like a cartoon version of his face with a pink background. It's you can't miss it. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah, because that song is. I think that that song is personally one of my favorite songs you've ever done. I think it's just kind of like a super fun kind of vibey time and it's 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 nice to is 
is it kind of representing representative of what you're going to be releasing on your next project like style I'm so like with my next project like i don't want to i don't want to like tease too much i want it to be a surprise but like true, true. I'll, I'll break it down a little bit so it's going to be a mix of uh old school melodic and new wave so it's going to be a little bit of everything it's going to be a story it's called story of forbidden flow so uh, I'm going to take you on a journey with this one. You guys are going to learn more about me that you guys didn't know before, different sides of me, see my maturity, and hear the message that I really want to say. So. That's tight. That's tight. Kind of like bringing it kind of like kind of like a bit more full circle with like the whole process. That's Yeah, exactly. Tight. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like you see me live, right? I'm always very, very one with the audience, one with the people. I want, I want people to understand a different side of me now. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to show people my energy and the message that I have to betray. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's, like, I think you do have a lot to show in that aspect, because, like, is, just for you, like, having you bring it up, like, seeing you perform live, I think it's a, it's a real treat to get to see Elijah Burns perform live, because uh, he interacts the, in the crowd in, like, a way yeah. that, like, they really connect with. Uh, I, I don't really know how else to describe it, but, like, you just, you just know how to, like, get a crowd i don't want to say hyped up but just engaged in the event that's going on right then and there because it, like, i remember at the first melodic mondays that i shot uh it was kind of like a dead show i think until about your set and you just like you were not having any of it and you were just like this crowd will be into this they will be excited and you just like went around and personally like talked to everyone and like yeah, no, i think this is what i said i'm pretty sure i was like Yo, if you guys paid for a fucking ticket, you better enjoy the music, get on the stage, get hype, or get on the floor, get hype, and it's about to go down, let's rage, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people, like, you gotta think from, like, not, like, an anxiety mindset where you're going to perform, like, some people will be like, oh, uh, the crowd is gonna picture me in my underwear, who gives a fuck, that's your glory, you know what I mean? You gotta think, like, okay, if I were on the crowd, how would I want this rapper to betray himself? Do I want it to just be like a normal local show where the guy is just like not fully um, confident in himself? Or do I want to believe in this rapper like he's like actually up there? You yeah. know what I mean? So it's all about how you perceive yourself and the way that others perceive you. So if you want to fucking rage, just have a good time and never give a fuck what people think, you know? 100%. And I use that exact quote that you just quoted there as like the intro for the melodic monday video that's like the thing that kicks it off and it's like it's just like such a hype way to intro it and it's it's a it's one of the it's one of my favorite memories of us kind of like working in the same field that's tight well i think it really solidified my spot for um, melodic mondays you know what i mean because everybody gave me a bunch of respect for that as well because i was always uh, i also said to the people watching like yo after your homies uh, are done performing like stick around listen to the other local artists you never know like people might like uh like other shit so you never know you never know who's gonna be there so stick around you know and i got a lot of respect for that too so it's just people gotta recognize that if we work together and as a team like we're all gonna do crazy things 100 percent. that's yeah it's like to see people looking out for other people because i know it doesn't always happen around here but it's it, it's definitely it's definitely nice when you get to watch it happen mm -hmm. tight well uh at this, we'll just hit our fourth question, even though we kind of already talked about it. See if you got anything else to spill on this and a little bit more context for our fourth question, the five W's, which is our when. And uh, when will you be releasing the projects you're working on with Biz Class Records and Nimbus? So we talked, yeah. and you said that was Leather Jacket coming up soon. But is there anything else you can tell us about that and your relationship with them? Because you also won a contest to get this placement. <laughs> yeah, so... Um... My sister's been managing me, and she's taking the business class at Nimbus. Mm -hmm. And their class orchestrated a contest for local artists and their business class to practice promotion and understanding the business side of everything. So they held a contest. I went up with my eyes closed. And here we are today. We're going to be going like all across Canada and possibly in the States, too. So it's, it's going to be crazy, man. Like I'm going to get a bunch of recognition this year. And... Uh, yeah, like I said before, it's just hard work pays off. Always follow your dreams and trust your gut. 
Wait, so what, what do you mean you're going all across Canada and, and maybe into the States? Are you, are you talking about just like... Well, on the radio, bro. Oh. On the radio. Different radio stations. Like, uh, like you know, like, it's just going to be... It's going to be promoted fat, dude. Oh, that's tight. That's and like, tight. You, like you said when I even sent you that song, you're like, man, I was having kind of a bad day. And then you sent me this song and I was like, I was hyped. I was like... like it's going to be one of those songs I feel is going to really, really captivate my audience and be able to give me more of a, a fan base, you know, so. That's tight. So does Nimbus handle most of, like, the re recording or the distribution aspect? No, bro, I, I recorded this when my bro planned at my buddy Griff's house. Yeah. So, like, I already had the song ready. I just was like, okay, here's a song. Yep. But they we'll do, do have song. studio space, don't they? Yeah, but I didn't need it. <laughs> you got your, you got your vibes set up at home. Exactly, man. Everything's about the vibes. It doesn't matter how big your studio is. If you got the right vibes, that's all that matters. Hundred percent. I that's like uh, that's I <laughs> I that's like my mindset. But then I see like some of these artists locally just like spending so much money on studio time, and I'm just like, we, invest we, in yourself, yo. Like invest in knowledge, you know, like. Bro, people don't realize this, but they spend, like, thousands of dollars going to school when YouTube will teach you the exact same thing for free. 100%, man. I, I, I learned that and then, then also fell in the trap of getting kind of peer pressured into going to school and then dropped out very quickly. And I was like, I know. Shit. No, for creatives, it's hard because you can't be in a box. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not even a... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a rough it's a rough one. It's all good, though. That's tight. Well, it's... Yeah, it's... I'm, I'm excited to see, like... So, like, actual, like, is it just going on, like, a bunch of different radio stations, or is it, like, specific kind of, like, ones that... Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. uh, all I know is that it's going to get promoted fat. That's all I can say. That's all that I know. Tight. And is, is that, like, a one-song kind of deal or project? Or is yeah, it, like, it's one song, but you never know I could get a record deal or the right exposure out of this. You never know what's going to happen. It's going to be fat promotion. So, it's, it's a step in the right direction, and that's for sure. Tight. Well, respect, man. That's tight. I'm excited to see that one come out and be able to share the fuck out of that because uh, my day was genuinely very much improved as soon as I heard that song. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Thank awesome. You. Cool. Well, we're just going to bring it kind of, I don't want to say full circle, but we'll bring up something that I've wondered about for a long time and I think I'll hopefully finally get an answer to today. And for our fifth and final question of the 5W show, it is our... It is our why. Uh, and I've seen this in person. I've seen it on the gram. But I've never understood why. Did you get 47 tattooed on your hand? Okay, it's not on my hand anymore. It's an 8 now. But originally, what 47 represents for me is balance of the heart and mind. So, 4th mm -hmm. and seven chakras are your body, your heart, and your crown. So for me, what that represents is to not be too practical, but not too empathic. You've got to have a balance of the both. So that way, like, you won't get fucked up, right? Like, you could be a good person, but don't walk on me, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very spiritual thing. I'm a very spiritual person. A lot of people perceived it to be something that it wasn't, so that is why I got it changed. But, um, so the reason why it's eight now is because eight represents, like, infinite possibilities, and eight is always the ch is also the Chinese number for good luck. So, hey, hey, and because in your bio it's written Force Seven uh, at the moment. Force Heaven. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so it's Force Heaven. Uh, th yeah, that's like me and my homies. That's like our, our collective or group. It's F O R C E H E A V E N. So it's like four seven, but it's a play on words, you know. We're, we're artists, we're rappers, and stuff. Yeah, yeah we like cool to do shit. that shit. Yeah. Awesome. And then what? What was it? People misconstruing forty seven as like. People literally thought it looked like a swastika. You know, like <laughs> I'm not joking. Damn. Okay. Uh... And like, so I mean, it's understandable, and it was hard for me to get a job, so I I had to change it. I think that's uh, I think that's fair. Uh... Yeah, no, no, it's that's totally a, fine. Like, shouts out to Capital Steez, shouts out Joey Badass. Those are the guys that like came up with the forty-seven stuff. But like, yo, like, don't get it tattooed on your hand. <laughs> that, goes, <laughs> that goes for anyone. Like, I made that mistake. It, people will perceive you to be someone that you're not, but at the same time, whatever, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a really rough one. It's kind of like that's so unfortunate. Because like, it's 
It's like I, I guess I that's a nice meaning. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's like it's like I don't I don't want to be. Oh, that's oh, that's Rob. I, I'm so sorry for that, man. It's someone that no, also I, it's all good, bro. It's all good. His body, I would hate for something that I put so much meaning. You know what? The fact that it looked kind of fucked made a lot of people ask me about it, which opened up the conversation for spirituality with me and other people. So it was also a really good thing. But uh, at the same time, like I was kind of getting kind of tired of being called like bad things so i was like Like, yeah part of me wishes i could just like hide my tattoos uh from the world and kind of just have them for me because like it's like i don't having them all over your body it's kind of just like people always ask you like what's that about what's that about and what's that what's what's this one mean i'm kind of just like leave me alone just (laughs) let me have my stuff (laughs) yeah Uh, so that's That's awesome it's kind of the vibe but tight. Well, uh, it's nice to kind of hear the backstory behind Four Seven and Force Heaven. It's a, uh, it, it's pretty cool, and it's always nice to kind of see other people working, finding kind of like their way of journeying through life. So I think that's pretty dope. And mm-hmm. I, hope, I hope we find you find some other way to bring it back in another way that is not interpreted as something it very much is not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why we did the Force Heaven thing, right? Like it's different, but it's it's got similar principles. So. Uh-huh. And then, I guess your first album was also named 47, right? Yeah, 47 Volume 1. Tight. Um, and then, so I'll, I'll drop the story for Ben Flows, and then after that, I'm going to be working on a project called 24-7, because I had my first mixtape, which was 47 Volume 1, and now 47 Volume 2 is 24-7. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's tight as fuck. Awesome. Well, uh, we have run the gauntlet of the five questions of the five W's, so uh, those are all the questions I have to really prepare to talk about, but is there anything else that you had in mind or anything else you wanted to share out to the world while we're talking here today? Um, well, I just wanted to say thank you, first off, for having me on today. It's been awesome talking to you. My pleasure. Second off, Instagram is at Elijah Burns 47, that is E L I J A H B U R N S 47. That's on the gram. Uh, if you want to find me on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever the fuck, it, search Eli Burns, E L I B U R N S. And yeah, that's about all I got to say. I hope everybody who watches this vibes high tonight or today, whenever you watch this. But yeah, it's Burns. That's me. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> tight, tight. Well, thank you so much for joining us today for the 10th episode of the 5Ws. We've done 10 of these guys, and uh, I mean, it's nice to have these numbers climbing up and kind of, we've, we've hit double digits on the episodes, which is, it's pretty sick to see this thing keep continuing, keep kind of growing. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm glad this thing's still happening. I'm glad people are still wanting to be on the show and still be a part of it. Uh, well, my name has been Reese Sitter. This has been our guest, Elijah Burns from Beachtown, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, adios, amigo. Take care. Peace.